My name is Vesa Miettinen. I'm the product manager for Bolded Connections in Veiko Group. Here with me is Markus Turi, product owner of Veiko uh, Group. Welcome, Markus. Thank you. Hello. Uh, and uh, we would like to talk today about the Peiko Designer, uh, new design software. So what is Peiko Designer, Markus? Okay, maybe not many of you know that we actually have an in-house software development unit in Peiko. Uh, where we are creating different kind of tools for creating connections uh, with Peiko's products. Uh, Peiko Designer itself is a software portfolio uh, consisting of multiple different uh, connection designing tools uh, for construction industry. Okay, and uh, related to Peiko Designer, there's also Bolted Connection. Uh, could you tell more about that? Yes, yes. So this Bolted Connection tool now is a new online software. Uh, specifically designed for uh, designing bolted connections, uh, utilizing Peiko's world glass products like the whole canal, for example. Okay. It's there. And I know we have old software, but why you decided to create a new one? Uh, old software is always old software. Uh, we want to create something new. Uh, we, now we have an online software, which is, means that there's no installations needed. Uh, we get frequent updates. You always have the latest software on your on your uh, workflow okay. running. So that's one biggest thing. And we have also now modern UI, for example, user interface, which I can show you here if you want yeah, to see. Yeah, please, what. please do. Okay. So uh, if we dive, dive in with the uh, bolted connection tool now, for example, so here we have a one scenario open. Uh, so you can actually rotate this uh, 3D component here nicely. Here you can define uh, the column shape. Uh, this is the same as, as in the old tool, for example. You can have a uh, square-like, uh, rectangular, circular, but what, what is now also new is this mm -hmm. stadium shape, yeah. for example, which is not available in the old tool. But if you have still more exotic shapes, you can define, define whatever shape you like. Uh, for example, here I have a triangular mm -hmm. shape. So you could do L, L pro, L shaped L, L columns shapes or, or whatever you or like. Or basically whatever, a Mickey yeah. Mouse if you like. Yeah. Okay. But let's anyway continue with this uh, simple uh, square-like solution, so it's not it's uh, it's easy to understand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, we want to define the actual base and how this column is located in regard of the of the base. Here, you can define, let's say, the the width uh, of the of the base or the actual placement of this column. For example, mm. you can move it around. You can. You can uh, make this base also wider and, and uh, thicker and whatnot. And what is also new here is that you can actually rotate this column uh, along the base, which is which is something you haven't had before. Like now, okay, I turn nice. it 30 degrees uh, like that. So now, once we have the the column and the and the base defined, mm -hmm. uh, we can go to the next page uh, where you can define what kind of products you will use for this case. Like in here, for example, uh, I would like to maybe use our new Hulko anchor anchors, for example. So here I have already, let's actually change the ball of 30, which means that I will have a Hulko mm. 30 anchor. Uh, let's add four anchors and shoes here, like that. They are there. So now you can actually see in 3D mm. how these new Hulkos look alike. Uh, and, and you can also modify the placement here in 2D component. As such, we have predefined mm -hmm. uh, snapping points existing here where you can snap to, and we are automatically rotating the, the shoes accordingly. You can also add new shoes here in addition. So let's say that I actually want to add now Polda 36 with Hulk of 36 here as well. Maybe even different concrete cover. I can do that here mm -hmm. uh, and do that. Automatically, we are placing them here, but if you mm. press this Arrange button, we okay. are uh, yeah, moving so them in the predefined, uh, more logical mm. placing. So it looks like you can do not only symmetric arrangements of the shoes, but also yes. unsymmetric, and you could, you could do uh, different sizes uh, as yes. you like, so more freedom yes. for the users. For example, here, for some reason, you might want to change this red uh, boulder 36 mm. places. So let's actually move them now here okay. and they will be also visually moving in the 3D nice. accordingly. Once you're happy with the, uh, with the uh, 
product as self and also the crowd thickness you can actually define it there. Mm. Uh, this is something new that you can actually put here also uh, values which are not uh, or you can actually modify this. Uh, you have mid bigger flexibility how you can add those okay. values there. Yeah. Uh, for example, here I, I could do maybe 150 like so that. You are not not bound to those uh, default values from, yes. the, from the technical. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Nice. So now I made it 150, but uh, again it's easy to go back to default technical manual values, meaning in this case mm. uh, uh, 55 millimeters. Okay. Okay, and then in the loads. Uh, you can move to the load page. So uh, here you can visually see nicely how the forces are acting uh, in this in this column uh, slash base scenario uh, visually. And and then what you can add here is the is the loads uh, either by hand typing them in, or I guess most of the people will want to uh, copy paste them from Excel or whatever spreadsheet to what they use. I think that's the Modern way to go. Yes, yes, and and what we have also here now new is distortion uh, column here on the right side, uh, which is not existing in the old tool. Mm. The, uh, in some cases, the torsion might become the most critical uh, force. So now it, you can actually verify that also here in the tool. Nice, and this this you can usually also uh, take it from the external software, and it's including the torsion, so you can yes. copy paste it here. Yes, yes. Wow. So here we have the final states and then we have the erection states uh, as well. So you can define loads uh, mm. for both. Okay, uh, then once we have everything set up here, we go to the results page, meaning that we are running the calculations in the cloud or on the cloud. Uh, as you could see, it was very fast. Mm -hmm. In here, I didn't have too many load cases, but I could even have a thousand load cases here and okay. it's still super fast. Wow. So performance is, is there. Um, we are automatically now um, uh, sorting these load cases by the maximum utilization ratio. Mm -hmm. So meaning, <coughs> meaning uh, it's easy to see the, the, the possible case where this, this uh, design will fail. Uh, in this case, actually, I don't have very optimized solution, so I have quite, quite uh, small utilization ratios. So I might want to change to using some kind of um, less big products. Yeah. Than, than Bold and Hulgo are. Uh, however, you can now visually see here the most critical case. For example, if you go to the joint failure here, we can also see these green dots here now are, are representing um, load cases. Mm -hmm. And if a load case is inside this, we call this uh, an onion in, uh, onion in the product development. So if it's inside this onion, uh, it is green and it is not failing. But if it's red and outside, you can also already visually see uh, quite fast that your your case, what you have here, is, is failing. And this is like overall indication of all the cases, and then you have the detailed results. And yes, that. exactly. So this is now the, the mm -hmm. overall view. And then if you go to the detailed section, for example, for the uh, for the cones, cone failure, uh, you can see visually quite nicely uh, what uh, what anchors are in tension. So trying mm. to pull this concrete blob out mm. <laughs> from the from the base, um, you can also see all the parameters. How did we end up this with these calculations? So if you want to define, if you want to be sure that what we are doing in the calculation is so, correct, you can actually verify it. So designers are can actually go S back and check that all the values are matching. Yes, okay. yes, yes. It's, and then, like for the edge failure case here, for example. Uh, okay. Have shear in the edge. Then. Yes. So, like in some cases, not in this case most likely, but in some cases, the edge failure might be failing. You can see how the concrete will react once those forces mm -hmm. are applied. Yeah. Nicely, mm -hmm. visually. Nice. Personally, what is your favorite new feature we have in the software? Uh, personally, I would say that having this calculation in the cloud is, is the biggest thing. Mm. Uh, but of course, I still like the modern user, user in interface and, and how, the, how the workflow is, is, is done here. Nice. What about future? What, what is coming up for the bolded connection? Okay, so for the bolded connection, uh, we still have uh, things missing. Uh, like the supplementary parts that will come uh, soon after, the, after. And then we have also uh, fire stage design missing, but that will be coming as well mm -hmm. later on. Mm -hmm. so, so then we have quite flexible package already. 
This version now is only inc including the Eurocode uh, standard designs, so no national annexes yet existing, but will come also, also later. Coming, yeah. Yes. Uh, and we want to also enhance the actual workflow of the users, so we want to already give some uh, proposed solutions, what kind of products you will get uh, uh, easier and faster, so you don't need to iterate mm. so many times what, what you want to get. Instead of going this trial and error, you will gain, gain or release some actual yes. uh, proposal. Yes, so we're taking this cloud computing yeah. uh, into actual use. So nice. in the modern day of, of AI, this feels like the right thing to do anyway. Nice. Uh, but then those are the biggest, biggest things, what I think. And how about the uh, Baker Designer portfolio overall? What, what's coming up there? Right, right. So uh, in the Baker Designer software portfolio, we will not stop here mm -hmm. uh, with the voltage connection, so the future looks bright. Uh, we will uh, also put efforts of, of developing new welded connection tool later mm -hmm. on, which mm -hmm. will replace the anchor plate module of the Baker Designer. Uh, then later on, we will also focus on, on other kind of connections like the balcony connections as well. So future? It's in the cloud. Future is definitely in the cloud for a for Baker Designer portfolio. Sounds good. Thanks, Marcus, for coming here. Thanks for letting me be here. And if you really want to know more, if you want to get your hands dirty with the tool, please visit Baker.com.